Hi all, this is Dr. Sage Breslin and this is Wisdom Wednesdays. So we are in the middle of Mercury in retrograde and a lot of you are feeling um, chaotic and unbalanced and off-center like me. <laughs> and you don't have to be an astrologer to know that when things aren't um, perfectly aligned um, for our centeredness, it's hard to get things done, um, especially with electronics. Uh, you know, when you have uh, tried to clear your, uh, reconcile your checkbook on QuickBooks, like for the fourth time, or you've tried to, uh, you know, get your Wi-Fi clear and uh, up and running and it, it doesn't work. You know, that's kind of classic Mercury in retrograde. But I wanted to point to another piece of Mercury being in retrograde, and that is that in order to proceed comfortably through it, and, and sometimes it lasts a while, we have to be able to center and to ground. Um, lots of people don't know the difference between those things. So grounding is when we kind of put our feet in the earth and we send all our extra energy down into mother earth and let her just recycle it and use it for her own devices and it allows us to feel clear and sturdy like an oak tree but you don't always want to be rooted like an oak tree imagine that there's a lot going on and you have to act quickly you actually want to pick up your feet and you want to center. So you want to be able to count on your core energy being able to allow you to feel solid, but without rooting your feet in the ground. So recently <laughs> during this retrograde, a lot has been happening, not just for me, but for a lot of people. But for me, uh, my twins decided which college they wanted to go to. We learned that there probably wouldn't be any on-campus housing. I quickly had to pivot to try to look at, you know, how I could possibly take equity out of my home to get another home and something I've never done before. And um, doing all of that from a distance. And that has been challenging. So I have really had to count on my connection to the divine and my connection to my core. I think of the core as where our soul and our essence live. You know, the soul is how we come through God and our essence is like if you were granted a little extra slice of God. And I notice that many people when they are trying to center they are doing so without that sense of connection and not you know not by a mistake or not by any resistance but when we're in unhealthy environments circumstances or relationships oftentimes we kind of put the soul into the vault right we put it there for safekeeping so it can't be harmed unfortunately it's not all that helpful to us when it is bound up in the vault so if you notice that you're going through this retrograde and you're, you're trying your best to center, but you still feel wobbly and uncomfortable, check out your connection to yourself. Check out your connection to your core. It may be that you're in a perfectly happy and healthy environment now, but maybe you weren't always. And you may have put that soul into safekeeping and then not taken it back out again. So if that's the case, maybe try sitting somewhere safe and quiet and try connecting with that part of yourself. And then imagine coaxing it out from the vault like you would a little cat from under the bed. You know, speak to it gently, offer it sanctuary with you out in the world and see what it feels like to be connected to yourself again. Most of us feel a lot more empowered when we're able to do that. And in a retrograde, you may not want to put your feet down into the ground. You may not want to root and ground. You may actually just need to center. So this is Wisdom Wednesdays. Happy centering.